Okay, hello all. Um, this morning we're going to continue on with the um, uh, scatter graphs or scatter diagrams. Um, I've drawn one here to use as an illustration. Okay, uh, it's based on this data in the table under here. These are x values and y values. Uh, I didn't assign any particular meaning to them, so they're just values. Um, Looking at the graph here, you can see it's definitely a positive correlation between the variable x and the variable y. And uh, having calculated the correlation coefficient to be 0.96, plus 0.96 if you like, that means it's a strong positive correlation we would describe it as. Okay, so what we want to talk about today is drawing a line of best fit. So a line of best fit is a line that you draw on your graph which describes, you know, roughly speaking, the line that the dots are taking. So these dots are going up in a line in this direction. So if we were to draw a line of best fit, it would be some line that went in some way up like this. Now we're going to do this exercise twice because there's um, uh, there's a one way of doing it and then there's a slightly more accurate way of doing it. But both ways are... Um, they're not an exact science. In other words, what I mean is that if the two different people were drawing a line of best fit on their graph, they could both do it perfectly correctly and have two different lines. Okay, uh, And you'll see as I go through it why this is the case. So uh, the first thing with the line of best fit to describe it, when we're going to draw this line, it's just going to be a, a straight line in the direction that the dots seem to be traveling and uh, we're going to use a, a ruler definitely to draw our straight line and we're going to try in so far as we can when we draw our line make sure that there's the same number of um, dots on one side of the line as there are on the other side of the line okay so let's have a look let's start this off now this is this may be a bit hairy trying to do this and hold the camera at the same time but i'll do my best so if i uh start here we can see the line is going to be roughly in this kind of uh, direction okay and what I'm going to do is I'm just going to cover over if I push my uh, ruler up in this direction and cover over these first two dots down here uh, and if I drew a line there then I would have a line going roughly in the right direction that had these two dots on one side and it would have all of these one, two, three, four, five, six, seven dots on the other side. So that would be a beginning. It wouldn't be a great line of best fit because I don't have the same amount of dots on either side of my line. It would be a fairly poor um, attempt, but that's where we might start. So then in order to get more dots on, the, um, on this near side of the line here, if you like, I might just maneuver my ruler up a small bit more. Now I've covered another dot there. So there's three dots that would end up being on this side and one, two, three, four, five, six dots on the other side. And if I move my ruler up even another little bit, I've got four now on one side and one, two, three, four, five. So I have a little difficulty here that because I've got nine dots, I'm not going to be able to get the same amount on either side of the line. And when that happens, what we might try to do here is we might try to get one of the dots exactly on the line and then we would have four dots on one side and four dots on the other. So when we have an odd number of dots, we might put one of the dots exactly on the line and then the, um, the same amount of dots on either side of the line then afterwards. Now it doesn't, like if you had two or three dots on the line, all the better, fine, if you have three dots on the line and then three on one side of the line and three on the other side of the line, all the better. It, as I say, it's not an exact science. So then, at the moment now, I've got five dots up here, five dots that will be on the other side of the line if I drew a line along this ruler now. Um, so what, I can, uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to put one of the dots actually on the line. And here's where I, I'll show you how two people could do this um, perfectly correctly and have different lines. If I choose this dot here for the one that I want to be on the line, then I move my ruler just slightly in this way. And now when I drew my line, my line will go through that dot and it would have these one, two, three, four dots up here on one side and four other on the other side and this dot here would be on the line. And that would be perfectly fine. But I could also have gone this way. I could have moved my ruler like this and I could have drawn it through my line rather. One second, hard to do this with one hand. I could have draw, drawn my line through this dot up here and then I would have had one, 
two, three, four dots on one side, four dots on the other side, and uh, my line going through this final dot up here. And both would have been perfectly fine. Okay, so I'm just going to put down the camera for one moment and draw a line. And as I say, either one would have been fine. Okay, so there I've drawn my line of best fit. I'm going to just uh, label it. line of best fit there and again we can see now that i'm not holding the ruler i can point them out one two three four dots on this side of the line one two three four dots on the other and the line goes through this other dot and this line does you know it roughly goes up in the direction that the dots are going now as i say not an exact science um that is uh that's perfectly fine and somebody else who had a different line which um, obeyed the same rules I suppose that I applied had the same amount of dots on either side and went through one of the dots would be perfectly correct or just as correct as this